it is interesting in the West to observe uh, who is uh, mourning Nasrallah, right? Uh, so if you look at AP, uh, you know, this is, you get, you get a sense of kind of the, the, the so-called bias, but this is like an a, a anti-civilizational bias. Uh, AP's headline is charismatic and shrewd. A look at longtime Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. Uh, charismatic shrewd, nothing there about him being uh, a, a vicious homicidal terrorist who, who uh, you know, unbelievably destructive and, um, uh, and uh, you know, just, just, you know, responsible for wars and, and the deaths of hundreds, thousands of people over the years, really tens of thousands if you include Syria. Um, here's, uh, here's, an, here's from the New York Times. Over his 32 years of leadership, leading the organization, and with the support of Iran, he built Hezbollah into a domestic political force and one of the most heavily armed non-state forces in the world. Mr. Nasrallah was opposed to Israel, which he called the Zionist entity, and maintained that there should be one Palestinian Palestine with equality for Muslims, Jews, and Christians. A powerful orator, he was beloved among many Shiite Muslims, a historically marginalized group in the Arab world, and created a state within a state in Lebanon that provided social services. I mean, this is insanity. Um, while Nasrallah in one interview said he believed in a one state uh, with equality of Muslims, Jews, and Christians, but in every other occasion, he was very clear about the fact that he supported a global jihad and the establishment of Sharia law over all of the world, never mind over Israel. He had no intentions of creating an equal one-state solution uh, uh, for Palestine, even though, again, he did mention it in one interview. Um, there is a, uh, there's a horrible interview of Nasrallah by uh, the guy from WikiLeaks. What's his name? Uh, the guy who was released recently from WikiLeaks. Uh, again, just showing how, particularly the WikiLeaks guy, was so uh, enamored with uh, people like um, uh, Assange, was so you, you know, who many people call a hero, uh, was so enamored with people like Nasrallah and just groveled and just just sucked up to him in a, in a horrible, horrible, horrible interview. So Julian Assange is part of this supportive of, uh, of this. This is the Washington Post. Among his followers, Mr. Nasrallah was seen as a father figure, a moral compass, and a political guide. He was lauded as the man who empowered Lebanon's own downtrodden and impoverished Shiite community and protected it from Israeli incursions by turning Hezbollah into a formidable deterrent force. So, I mean, you couldn't write better propaganda uh, if you were if you were Hezbollah, I mean, basically Western media is presenting uh, in perfect synchrony the uh, the party line uh, Hezbollah's uh, party line here. Here's the Guardian. Uh, this is the headline: A qualified Islamic scholar, effective public speaker, and competent organizer. Uh, this is a guy who claimed the Holocaust is a myth. Uh, the throughout history, the Jews have been Allah's most cowardly and avaricious creatures. If, if the Jews all gather in Israel, it will save us the trouble, he said, of going after them worldwide. Uh, this is the Islamic scholar, effective public speaker, and competent organizer that the Guardian identifies. Um, uh, here's, yeah, so that is the world media. Uh, that is, um, that's the left. That's the global left. The global left is just enamored with this guy. They love this guy. Uh, they're obsessed with him. You know, I haven't, I haven't gone and, and looked to see what Tucker Carlson, uh, might be saying about Nasrallah. He might be staying quiet. He, he doesn't want to support a loser, but, um, you know, this is what the global left supports uh this is what they uh uh you know what they like there was also a, a student group there was uh uh there were, a, a, the penn student group uh had this amazing statement let's see if i captured it maybe I, maybe i missed it but uh yeah uh this is from uh, this is from upenn students for justice in palestine 
Um, and uh, they've got this uh, uh, mourning of uh, Nasrallah's death. When Lida, when a leader departs, another rises. His soul departed to join his fellow martyrs, resisting until the last moment. While we today feel the bitterness of loss, we stand tall in facing his enemy who thought that targeting the leaders would break the will of the resistance and people. On the contrary, the ranks of the resistance in Lebanon and everywhere, hopefully these kids will actually go volunteer and, and become part of the resistance. That will, that will uh, you know, that, that will make, uh, make dealing with them here a lot easier. Um, uh, you know, the blood of these martyrs will form new fuel for the fire of resistance, which will not die until the liberation of Palestine and all occupied Arab lands. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, and this is a quote from Nasrallah, just as I always use to promise you victory, I promise you victory once again. Hasn't worked out too well for him. Anyway, that is, those are your students on campuses uh, today. Uh, in addition, you've got 12, no, 17 members of Congress, uh, Democrats, I think all of them, is that true? They're all Democrats? Yeah, every single one of them a Democrat. Um, well, one independent, Bernie Sanders. Uh, all of them have joined forces to call for an arms embargo on Israel. Now, two of them have lost uh, their uh, seats already in the House of Representatives. Uh, but you got Bernie Sanders, Jeff, uh, uh, Jeff Meckley, uh, Peter Welsh, Brian Schatz, uh, Tim Kaine. Tim Kaine, Democrat from Virginia. That's in the Senate. Those are, sorry, that's five senators. Five Democratic senators and, and uh, 12 Democratic congressman calling for a uh, arms embargo on Israel because of the killing in Israel. Instead of thanking, uh, instead of thanking um, the uh, Israelis for getting rid of one of America's uh, uh, number one enemies and somebody with a lot, a lot of American blood on his hands, uh, these uh, Democratic congressmen. Um, I've closed the window and I'm not sure AOC was a signature. But, um, uh, but I, I expect she was. Anyway, uh, that, is, uh, that is the state of, uh, of the world in which we live uh, that, um, let me just see, I, I wanna give uh, an answer to, if AOC, let's see if I can open this tab, uh, one second. Um, this is the state of, of, of the left today uh, that a significant number of them uh, yeah, AOC was definitely one of the people who signed the arms embargo on Israel. So uh, it was the entire squad and, uh, and their supporters. 